Standing on the edge of the Polrewa stream, which is a tributary of the Rangitiki River. Uh, the Rangitiki River is one of 15 rivers in New Zealand with a National Water Conservation Order on it. So it's our, it's like our, one of our natural cathedrals or a national park, that's the way to think about it. And it's like every other little lowland stream in New Zealand that it's got all these things influencing it. So just upstream of here we've got Hunterville Township feeding its sewage into the river. Uh, we've got dairy farms along the side of this river. Uh, it's got, as you can see here, it's got very little in the way of vegetation shading it, so it's probably warmer than it should be. Uh, when you look at that water, it doesn't take a scientist to tell you that it's not in good shape. It's got no clarity. Uh, you can see the wee bubbles there, which means it's having trouble kind of um, circulating and operating as an ecosystem should. And so just over here, we've got a, a, a localised example of this hill country uh, cropping. It involves, as I said earlier, spraying the entire site out and then they've aerially applied uh, whatever seed they need. So it might be pasture or turnips or whatever's working for the farmer. Uh, and then in winter, and we're a couple of months away from it now, um, the cattle will move on to that site and they'll be potentially strip grazed right across that site. Uh, it'll be a large mob of cattle put onto there and they'll be trying to use up the site on their way through. So by the end of winter, people will be pretty familiar with it now, there'll just be a, a sea of mud across a slope like that. That's why that phrase spray and pray is so true because it is, it's, well it's wing and a prayer stuff isn't it? You're, just, you're hoping it works alright and that's not good enough in this day and age. If we had uptake of this across the entire landscape, we'd, we'd, be, we'd have a real problem unless we manage the downstream impacts really carefully. And I don't think that management process is there. I, I think it's a little bit hit and miss. You'll get people who, who are really good custodians and they'll go to the nth degree to ensure that the soil stays in place. And then you'll get other people who it might be too hard or too difficult or too expensive and so they're prepared to take the risk and it's a bit like gambling you know it's a bit like playing russian roulette really and and potentially a lot of that ends up straight into a waterway like we've got to our left here and this waterway is a real gem and it employs a lot of people and i think we need as a district we need to look broader um, you know we we might be able to make a few more dollars per hectare on a farm but is it going to employ many more people does it support the local shop or does having a, a wonderful tourist lodge with, like just up the 200 metres up the river here, um, will that employ more people and give us a more sustainable long term future? And I think, I think in a district sense it's the sustainability of the whole area not just one or two little business units that's the key. The river turns chocolate, I mean dark Ghana chocolate. When we have a headwaters flood event, so that's still going down in the Kaimanawa Ranges, the river turns sort of a grey brown, light brown colour. So that deep chocolate that we get with local rainfall is topsoil. It'll all end up in the river and um, I've shared with you some of the photographs of silt build up and stuff that we've seen on the river. And you know this, this river didn't have those sorts of that sort of silt build up. Not when I started rafting anyway and, and imagine before that it was even more pristine. How is this affecting your business? It's not affecting our business directly as yet. Um, but you know I think the New Zealand tourism industry is based on this 100% pure um, aspirational message, if you like, um, that you know, eventually, if we don't deliver that, that then you know we're we're going to be on our faces, aren't we? You know, so right now, no. In the future, it concerns me greatly.